Let us discuss the features of 8051 microcontroller. The first feature is it is an 8 bit microcontroller. So when I say that a particular microcontroller is 8 bit, I mean that the CPU of that microcontroller can process 8 bit of data at a time. And in 8051 microcontroller, it is 8 bit because ALU or the processor inside the microcontroller is capable of handling 8 bit of data at a time. Similarly, it has different registers, say register A, which is also called as accumulator, register B, they are also of 8 bit. The various registers which belong to register bank, like R0 to R7 register, these are also 8 bit register. And the data bus of 8051 is also 8 bit. Next feature of 8051 is it is having 4 kilobytes of on chip program memory. 4 kilobytes of on chip program memory. This program memory is used to store the instructions written by the user and generally the ROM is used to store the instruction. Latest versions of microcontroller also has flash ROM. The next feature is apart from program memory it also has 128 bytes of on chip. On chip means it is present inside the chip. 128 bytes of on chip data memory is also there. And this data memory holds temporary data. And the data memory is in the form of RAM. So whenever we write the program, the program written by the user gets stored in this on chip program memory. And during program execution, a temporary data is generated intermediate result is generated that result gets stored in 128 bytes of data memory this memory can also be used as a stack memory the next feature is 8051 microcontroller has four 8 bit bidirectional io ports so number of four ports in 8051 are four in number and these ports are named as port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. Each port is of 8 bit. So when I say a port 0, it means that it will have 8 different pins from P0.0 to P0.7. Same is the case with remaining port. These ports are bidirectional in nature. Bidirectional in the nature, it means that we can send out data over the port line as well as we can accept the data from external world through these lines. And that's why the term IO is used. I stands for input, O stands for output. As each port is of 8 bit and there are 4 different ports, so I can say that there are 32 IO lines because 4 into 8 comes to be 32. So what is the purpose of ports? The ports are used to store or uh, to interface input output devices. Say I want to connect an LED, I want to connect say LED 7 segment display, I want to connect say LCD, I want to connect motor, then through interfacing circuitry I can connect them to these port lines. One more feature is that 8051 microcontroller has two 16 bit timers oblique counters. So there are two different timers or counters. A timer can act as a timer or it can also act as a counter. The number of timers are two. The first timer is called as timer 0. It is of 16 bit. Similarly, the second timer is called as timer 1. Now what is the application of timer? Timer is used to generate a delay. A delay means it is creating some time gap between two different events. The second application of timer is it can be used as a counter to count external events. How many events have occurred that can be count when we operate timer in counter mode. And third application of timer is it is used to set baud rate in serial communication. 
so user can set the baud rate according to his or her choice by using timer in two different modes of serial communication that is mode one and mode three because they are having variable baud rate setting the next feature is that 8051 has one full duplex serial port So it has two dedicated pins. One is TXD through which data can be transmitted serially while second pin is RXD through which data can be received serially from external networks. So transmission and reception purpose has two dedicated pins that's why the, I have used the term full duplex means serially data can be transmitted at the same time data can be received serially. And this port is also called as UART port that is Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter. The next feature of 8051 microcontroller is it is having 16 different address lines. So 16 address lines means even if we are having some internal program memory and data memory we can connect or we have the facility of interfacing external memory also and as there are 16 address lines 2 raised to 16 which comes to be 64 kilobytes of external program memory can be interfaced with microcontroller similarly 64 kilobytes of external data memory can be interfaced with microcontroller for interfacing external memory we require address lines and to carry the data we require data line so eight data lines are also there and these lines are called as buses set of wire is nothing but bus so 16 address lines decide the amount of memory and to carry the data to and fro from this external memory we require data bus so eight data lines are there the next feature of 8051 microcontroller is it is having five interrupts. So in total it has five interrupts. Out of them the two interrupts are external interrupt. Two are the external interrupts and they are in the form of pins which are named as INT0 bar and INT1 bar. The external hardware circuitry connected to these pins of microcontroller interrupts the microcontroller and that's why they are called as hardware interrupts. Remaining three interrupts are internal interrupts and they are also called as software interrupts. So which are those three interrupts? One interrupt is related to timer zero. When timer gets overflowed, microcontroller gets interrupted. Same is the case with another timer. Next interrupt is timer one related interrupt when timer one overflows microcontroller gets interrupted and another interrupt is serial interrupt which is related to transmission as well as reception for transmission and reception one common interrupt is given which is called as serial interrupts so in this way there are five different interrupts in microcontroller 8051 it has one more facility that it is having power saving modes the inbuilt power saving modes or power saving options are there in order to reduce the power consumption for that purpose a dedicated peak on register is there through which we can set the microcontroller either in power down mode or in idle mode to reduce the power consumption as we all know that 8051 is a 40 pin IC which comes in the form of DIP package that is dual, dual inline package. Earlier microcontrollers we are using NMOS technology for fabrication but recent 8051 versions use CMOS that is complementary metal oxide semiconductor technology to fabricate it and the one of the major advantage of CMOS technology is that it reduces the power consumption. Because 8051 is mainly using embedded systems which are battery operated and in order to reduce the power consumption 
CMOS technology is ideal one. 8051 microcontroller is having hardware architecture. The architecture is hardware architecture. Hardware architecture means it has separate memory for storing program and separate memory for storing data. And it is made up of using CISC architecture that is complex instruction set computer architecture. The instructions of variable length are there. In total, it is having 111 instructions. So in order to develop a program, you have the choice of using these types of different instructions. One more feature of 8051 is it has on-chip oscillator. It has on-chip oscillator. So a quad crystal along with two capacitors are connected to XTAL1 and XTAL2 pins of 8051. This circuitry will generate a clock signal. Through these clock pulses, all internal operations of 8051 are synchronized. The clock is also used by timer section to generate a delay. The clock is also used by serial communication circuitry to decide the baud rate of serial communication. If the given version of 8051 operates at say 12 MHz, then a crystal of 12 MHz frequency or less should be connected to XTAL1 and XTAL2 pin of 8051 microcontroller. And the last feature is that it works on a power supply of plus 5 volt.